Hi guys, this is Ryan from Halo Inc. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do a tray alignment for the Versant 180. And this is going to be for 12 by 18 sheets where you actually have to use the, uh, the glass to create the alignment profile. So first what you're going to do is um, pick your tray. I've already filled it with the, the stock that I'm using, which is just going to be this 100 pound gloss cover 12 by 18. Um, so you put it in, get your guide set, go ahead and close that, and then you can go ahead and just confirm your paper settings. I already know that this is correct. Um, so we're going to do first is just make sure that you're logged in as admin. You're going to go to machine status, then you're going to go to tools, set up an alignment, and uh, alignment adjustment setup. And from here you're going to do auto alignment. And now we're going to print the calibration chart. Select our tray, tray six, save, print. And now we just wait a moment. Okay, so now we have our alignment print. So we're gonna hit confirm there. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to do scan chart with document glass because the document feeder only takes uh, 11 by 17s. So first off, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that this sheet is in the upper left-hand corner, nice and flush. And if you're gonna notice, we've got some gray dots here on this side, some black dots on this side. So first, we're gonna start with the black dots and we're gonna find the single dot first. Now we just slide this under the sheet. And what we're doing is we're trying to align this white dot with this black dot while keeping this, um, this line here straight. So, just gonna set it up. That looks good. So if you see there, it's lined up nice and straight. Go ahead and close our scanner. And we're gonna scan it each dot twice. Now we'll scan once. Twice. And we'll lift this back up. And now we need to line up the double black squares. That looks good. Like that. Scan once. Scan twice. Okay ready so now we'll open it back up we're gonna flip it over and use the gray dots and we're gonna start with the single gray square I don't know why I keep calling them dots um, Twice. Now, good to hit start. And now it is going to print out another one of these calibration sheets. Let's see how well we'll be able to show you. So you can see how far we're off on our initial test. Um, so that's what that looks like now. Um, so it's done its settings. So now we're going to go here and we're going to change this because this isn't correct. So we're going to click on that one there. And we'll just pick change settings. Oops. Just grab type 9 here. Change settings. Change settings. This will allow you to change the name. Now you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to do... Oops. 100 pound 12 by 18 cover loss and this is uh, 270 GSM and it's 
Pacer save. And then we'll save it again. And we'll save it again. And save. So now that's associated with that tray. And we're just going to print one more calibration chart to check what the adjustments made were. Okay, so now we have our second calibration chart and let's take a look at, so that one's dead on, dead on, dead on. It's just a hair off, just a hair, but yeah, that'll be perfectly fine. So now, um, just confirm that. We'll close out of all these. And just to show you how you would apply that when you're loading the tray. Uh, so we'll act like we're loading some paper and do it. Once you get this screen here, you're going to change settings and alignment adjustment. And it already grabbed it, but if, if you didn't, then you just go in and grab it from right there. And that's how you do a 12 by 18 uh, tray alignment.